Hey guys, and we're back with another video, and as you can see right here, Azurlane is having their Black Friday sale right now. So, since Azurlane is sponsoring this video, I thought it'd be a great time to do a laid-back overview of my Azurlane account in 2021. There have been many people requesting to see the equipment on my ship, so I thought it'd be a nice time to make a video showing all of them. And in addition, I can also show all these really nice skins in the process. <laughs> So as I just mentioned, during this Black Friday sale, every single limited skin is back for a limited time. This means that if you missed it the first time, you can actually just go and get that skin that you've been craving for right now. In addition, if you go and purchase these rerun outfits during this time, you will also get a small bonus depending on how many you buy in Akashi's fire sale over here. There's also a lucky bag where you actually get a guaranteed Live 2D skin. This is the first time that they've done this, so it's really nice that you can get a really really nice value lucky bag. That's like really nice. Should I buy it? Should I really? I bought it. Alright, so let's see what we get. Okay. Kashino. Yes, sir. Oh, you guys are gonna like this skin. I'm gonna have this in the background the entire video. So yeah, that's that. The very best lucky bag is available for a limited time featuring a guaranteed live duty skin. Honestly, spending money on skins feels a lot more rewarding than spending money on gacha currency, so I'm happy to get a skin here for my ship booze. Anyways, let's start the account showcase. So speaking of gacha currency, let's check how many cubes I have. Alright, 265 is actually the highest amount of cubes that I've ever had in my entire account's career. You may be asking why? Well, if you refer to my New Jersey video or my Shimakaze video, on every single banner, I try and reroll for every single new event ship. So for instance, I'd go like this, and then if I didn't get the event ship, then I'd go again, and then again, and if that doesn't happen, I will literally spend all of my golden cubes until either I do get them or I run out of them. I know it's not a good idea, but I do it anyways because I have a crippling gacha addiction. So moving on, let's talk about campaign. I've been doing a little bit of chapter 14, but I haven't completely finished it. And also if you guys want a guide on chapter 14, I could probably do one. Just leave a comment down below and tell me to do it, or else I'm going to procrastinate. Anyways, I still need to work on getting that last star on 14.3 because this stage is very difficult, and I'm just too lazy to go and finish out 14.4. And of course everything else before this is completely done. And going on to the hard mode maps, I've kind of just been doing some here and there, and I'm too lazy to go and start chapter 12 yet, so I've just been doing some 11.4 or 11.3. Now for the part of the video that you've probably been waiting for, here is the ship overview. So here in my dock, we have a couple of ships. If you guys want a video on anyone in particular, feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll be happy to do a video on them in the future. So going back up, we have a couple of level 120 ships here. So here's like five, there's like another four, so that's nine. And then we have, let's see, 16, 23, 29, 36, 43, 50, 57, 64, 71, 78, 85, 86, and 87 level 120 ships. So you guys can go and check for yourself, see how many you guys have, and sure, let's go and see who has more. <laughs> oh, let's go back. So yeah, here's my ships, and a couple of ships won't have gear. Oh, these are my submarine fleet right here, right now at the wolf pack. Very solid submarines. There's a random Kazagumo, and right now I'm just randomly leveling up any ships that I see that I have interest in. And some people just don't have gear because I just have been rotating them around because I don't have enough gear to go and have everyone constantly equipped at one time. So yeah, New Jersey, very nice. Same thing with Shinano, very nice. We have Helena Retrofit, Centaur, Perseus. Now Perseus is just carrying me so hard through everything because she's just too good. We have of course Jail, um, pretty good ship. Uh, Noshiro is over here. Sandy, Warspite, Drake, basically just everyone that you'd expect to be level 120. Random Laffy, Alan M. Sumner for some reason. Baltimore, Bremerton, North Carolina. Uh, North Carolina's level, I didn't even remember getting her to level 120, but okay. There's Washington, Alabama, Saratoga. Saratoga's a very, very good ship, so you guys should go and level her up in the early game if you have a lack of good carriers because she is very good. Sirius is always good, Swiftsure, How, Formidable, Neptune, Monarch, Cheshire, Ayanami, Yuki Kaze, Kasumi. Oh yeah, I recently upgraded Kasumi. She, she's okay. She's... yeah, there's just way too many broken destroyers in this game right now, so she's kind of getting overshadowed. Yeah, Suruka, Ryuho, 
Akaki Kaga Hiryu Retrofit for PvP, Akashi just because, Ibuki because she's awesome, Kitakaze, I just skipped over Izumo, lol. And then there's Rune, Prince, Bismarck, Tirpitz. And speaking of Bismarck and Tirpitz, I've literally been using Bismarck, Tirpitz, and FDG. Oh, and a little bit of Groft Zeppelin. Oh yeah, I also have just got uh, Groft Zeppelin up to level 120, so I could probably do a video on her pretty soon, Peter Strasser. And just like those five backline ships, I've just been grinding for Odin. Um, let's see. I was Odin. Um, at the every single German PR ship, I've just been using only them. <laughs> oh, there's Akila, Tashkent, Shapayev, Sovetskaya, Belarusia, Sovetskaya, Rosia, Jean d'Arc. I could probably make a video on Jean d'Arc too. There's just a couple of like other ships that are also there. Oh yeah, here you meta is like the only meta ship that I actually have like meta maxed out. Everyone, every other meta ship is like lacking hell on the meta I'm working on. If you guys want to see a Hiryu meta video then sure. Oh, Isuzu's over here too. Hyuga. Hyuga's been with me since like the very start of my account. She was carrying me in the very very early stages. Same thing with Leipzig. Well actually I've just gotten her recently because of PR grinding. Just so I can go and farm for like Agir and stuff. Javelin's here. Talon and everyone else is also here. So yeah, there's all those ships over here, and all of them are pretty good, or I just like them in general, so I leveled them up. Working on a couple of other ships here, so here is everyone, and there is a couple of ships that I haven't even started yet, so let's see. Yeah, there's just a couple of ships that I literally just have to start working on, but there you go, there is my dock. I remember at the start of the game where I still only had like 200 ships as the Mac dock capacity, and now I have 400, so... Lots of progress, guys. Lots of progress. Now, over in the depot, of course, we have some standard stuff, including Valentine's Day gifts from Hipper Mew, and of course, Hipper herself, a random promise ring, a severe lack of red books like normal, one of each PR equipment blueprint for no reason at all, a couple of rainbow blueprints, and let's see, what else do we have? We have a couple of tech boxes, a couple of free SRs from the past couple events. So there's one over here that you can go and claim. I'm just been too lazy, so they're just gonna kind of sit there. I already have all of them, so <laughs> they're just kinda there. Yeah, a couple of extra PR blueprints that I haven't used yet. A couple of plates, you know, 10,000 torpedo parts, just normal stuff. Um, another 1,000 purple and blue and gray boxes. They're just there, I guess. So yeah. And of course, in my gear tab, you can see that I actually don't have a PR3 gun or the PR4 rainbow plane yet. That's just because, like, I'm unlucky, I guess. Uh, so yeah, there's that. And also, let me just check real quick. Oh, that's a lot of high-performance air radars or whatever it's called. Uh, anyways, let's go and find those rainbow guns. So I think uh, I was close to... Yeah, I was close to getting the PR3 gun, but I just haven't finished it out. And then PR4 released. So then I switched to PR4, and now PR4, um, getting there. So yeah, there's that, a couple of washing machines, and yeah. So that's my gear slash depot overview. Can a skin like get any looter than this one? I'm pretty sure there's gotta be like the lootest. Actually, never mind, there's Lamal and Spiny Girl skin. Anyways, um, for my Meowficers, I have them conveniently nicknamed so I know where to put them. In particular, here is Substaff over here. And if that's Substaff, then this is Subcommand over here. I'm really proud of this one. This one's very nice. So we have, of course, max level skills. Some reload here, the very very good submarine talent right here, massive, extra torpedo stat, extra reload and torpedo, so actually a swole me officer over here, a force to be reckoned with. We have our aviation staff for whenever I use carriers in the back, we have our command, I think she's for battleships, yeah she's for battleships and royal navy I guess, uh, we have another battleship staff over here. Oh, she's got the pretty good, she's got the good talent over here, and this is okay. And of course, more firepower, more reload, and that was unlucky. We have another battleship. Is she staff? Or actually, it doesn't really matter, she's not staff or command. So she's command. Actually, I literally wrote command right here. <laughs> so battleships. More battleship staff over here. Pretty nice. We have our destroyer, meow officer that I don't use. Our light cruiser. Meowficer that I still don't use, and a couple of other Meowficers that I need to go and randomly consume. 
So let's see. Uh, we'll just feed this one because she's about to be level 25. So do 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 do. So those are my meow officers. I know everybody usually has like level 30 meow officers by now, but like. Honestly, just haven't really been doing too much about that, so they're just kind of chilling at like level 26 and stuff. So, there they are. I wonder if I get demonetized for this. So finally, here's my priority research progress. Once again, if you guys want a video on anyone in particular, please leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be happy to do a video on them in the future. So for PR1, let's start with Neptune. I think everyone here in PR1 is max bait simulated, so there's Neptune. Let's check. Monarch, yep. Ibuki is definitely done, I think I remember that. I just got Izumo recently to max PR, so she's actually a pretty good ship now. You just have to get her all the way to max bait simulation, where she gets a much better skill enhancement. We also have Rune over here, and of course, our last but not least, Sanrui for PR2. I don't know what happened, but my Seattle is just really, really behind compared to everyone else. Like, Seattle's just not even PR30, and on the other hand, we have a fully fate simulated Georgia, full fate sim Kitakaze, and uh, I think she's full fate sim, but yeah, full fate sim Gascon. Azuma's almost there to PR30, and of course, FDG needs a little bit more work. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Seattle, like, she's just really behind. So, okay guys, don't neglect Seattle just like me, it's very bad, she's probably really sad right now. Anyways, for PR3, I think I've gotten everyone. No one's been fully fate simulated yet, so there they are. They are level 30 though, and Drake is at level 25, so she's getting there. Because I just think I was working on them, and then PR4 came out, so then we just kind of skipped over them, and then moved straight to PR4. So here we are on PR4. We've gotten everybody. And Anchorage is sitting at 19, Hakuryu is at 13, Agir is at 15, we have our August von Parseval at 20, and Marco Polo at 20 once again. So there they are. Lovely ships. Nice. Oh, and one more thing. Here's my meta lab progress. Honestly, it's kind of funny that all these ships are called meta ships, except they're not really that meta defining. It's a little bit ironic. So anyway, Soryu, I really need to go and get before she just completely disappears. Hiryu is fully complete. Arc Royal, I have neglected. Helena is almost complete. And Fuso is also neglected. Whoopsies. Anyways, that'll be all for this video. If you like what you see, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to press the notification bell for my future uploads as well. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions that need to be answered, or just have a suggestion, and I'll try my best to reply. If you are interested, you can always join my Discord server if you need any advice and just want a place to relax. That'll be all for this video, so I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.